so we have seen we have seen about that first harmonic second harmonic so on right and we also have noticed that fundamental band is the dominant band or however sound will be produced most of the intensity will be contributed by fundamental band because it has low frequency and every system on to stay at low energy low frequency means system will have low energy okay then you will have not only fundamental band but you also you will have first overtone second overtone and so on right but the contribution of overtone will be less dominant now today we will discuss about that close organ pipe so uh, like open organ pipe close organ pipe will also have different mode of vibration or different mode of oscillation so first we will discuss about fundamental frequency fundamental frequency okay or in other words this is also known as known as first harmonics okay so suppose you have a closed organ pipe okay so as you know that close end will always have what node right so first mode of vibration can be so how do we know we know that close end will always have anti uh, always have nodes right right so first mode of vibration or fundamental frequency or first first harmonics can be open on open end will have anti node and close end will have node so this is possible because anti node or node fast must reh sakta hai so a mode of oscillation close organ pipe may possible hai. so this will be the fundamental frequency okay or fundamental mode of oscillation so first of all let, let us take that length of this close organ pipe that is l so this mode of oscillation can be written like uh, written like this okay and as you know that separation between successive anti node and node that will be how much separation between successive anti node or node ke beech mein distance kitna hota hai how much will be that distance lambda by 4 lambda by 4 so this distance will be lambda by 4 and that corresponds to what that will be equal to the length of organ pipe so from here i can write lambda equals to 4l right so frequency of fundamental oscillation or first harmonics let us denote this uh, notation that is f on and that will be nothing but velocity of sound divided by lambda right lambda means wavelength so what i can write in place of lambda i can substitute 4l so this will be the fundamental frequency of vibration so this will be your fundamental frequency again you can check that frequency of sound 
produced inside close organ pipe can be tuned by length aap is organ pipe ka length ko change karke iska frequency uh, frequency ko aap change kar sakte ho the frequency frequency produced inside close organ pipe can be tuned by changing its length okay you can clearly see that frequency is inversely proportional to length and this is actually the fundamental frequency or the frequency of first harmonic okay is it clear okay sir yes sir, yes, sir. okay now let's uh, next is about overtone so first overtone or it will be not second harmonics it will be third harmonics so how it will be third harmonics not second harmonics that i'll discuss okay okay now second uh mode of oscillation can be what again you have same close organ pipe this is your close end and this is your open end so open end will always have your anti node and close end will have node theek hai to pehla mode of oscillation or vibration mein kya tha ye dono ek possibility tha jo aapka minimum jo aapka maximum wavelength the right and yes, that wavelength sir. that wavelength is 4l अब नेक्स्ट पॉसिबिलिटी क्या है कि इनके बीच में एक आपका नोड्स हो ठीक है अब इनके बीच में नोड्स हो तो दो नोड्स तो पास पास नहीं रह सकता है इसका मतलब इसका मतलब क्या है यहाँ पे आपका एक एंटी नोड्स भी होना पड़ेगा एम आई करेक्ट इज इट ओके सो नेक्स्ट पॉसिबिलिटी दैट यू हैव टू इंट्रोड्यूस फॉर फास्ट ऑफ केस यू हैव टू इंट्रोड्यूस ए नोट इन साइड यूर क्लोज ऑर्गन फाइव Now these two nodes cannot stay pass pass nahi reh sakta hai to iske beech mein aapko kya karna padega ek anti node introduce karna padega again the length of this organ pipe is how much it is l now how how that your uh, wave will look like here so here you will have minimum amplitude right so minimum amplitude of oscillation so i can write like and at node you will have minimum amplitude of oscillation so i can write like this right okay so this is the second chance of mode of oscillation now what will be that lambda here or how much will be this distance so n n node node distance kitna hota hai lambda by 2 hota hai so this will be lambda by 2 plus node anti node so that will be lambda by 4 so net distance will be lambda by 2 plus lambda by 4 that will be how much 3 lambda by 4 and that should be equals to length of organ pipe so from here i can write that lambda equals to 4l by 3 is it okay so from here i can write that lambda equals to 4l by 3 now if you calculate that frequency of first overtone let us take that symbol that is f2 so frequency of first overtone that will be f2 so f2 will be nothing but velocity of sound inside organ pipe divided by lambda and lambda how much you got that is 4l by 3 So three will be coming here. Now, if you remember, V by four L was how much? So three into V by V by four L is nothing but the frequency of fundamental oscillation. Is it okay? So you can clearly see the frequency of first overtone is three times the frequency of fundamental band. so that's why this is known as third harmonics harmonics basically decided by frequency 
how much is the amount of frequency. You can clearly see the frequency of first overtone is three times the frequency of fundamental band or fundamental frequency. That's why you will get third harmonics. You will not get second harmonics. If you second, second harmonics, then what do you get the frequency? You will get two times the frequency of fundamental frequency. Yes, like, haan, like what you have observed for open organ pipe. Okay. Yes, sir. Okay. So in general, in general, if you have, if you have nth overtone, if you have nth overtone in closed organ pipe, it means consa harmonics banega. If you have nth of a tone in closed organ pipe, this corresponds to 2n plus 1 harmonics. Okay. Is it clear? Now let us solve problem. So what the problem is, the problem is what they are saying, the third overtone of closed organ pipe, the third overtone of closed organ pipe is in re resonance with the fourth harmonics of open organ pipe. Okay. So again, I'm repeating the third overtone of closed organ pipe is in resonance with th uh, fourth harmonics of open organ pipe. So we have to calculate the length of closed organ pipe divided by length of open organic organ pipe. So how much will be that ratio of this length? So how the question is, question is very simple. The third harmonic, so, uh, sorry, the third overtone of closed organ pipe is in resonance with fourth harmonics of open organ pipe, basically you have to calculate the ratio of their length, ratio of length of closed organ pipe divided by ratio of length of open organ pipe that you have to calculate. Can you able to calculate? Is, is the question clear to all? Is the question clear to all? Yes, sir. Okay. Now, how will you solve it? Sir, one more thing, sir. Ha. Again, I am repeating. Yes, sir. The third overtone of closed organ pipe is in resonance with fourth harmonics of open organ pipe. So, you have to calculate the ratio of length of closed organ pipe to that of open organ pipe. Now, is it clear? Okay, sir. Okay, sir. Ah. Can you able to solve? Okay, let us solve together. Okay. Now, can you please tell me the frequency of third overtone of uh, closed organ pipe? How much will be that frequency? Hmm? Achha, first of all, the frequency was tha? F2. That was 3 into first of all, the frequency was 3 into VY 4L. This is the uh, frequency of first of all, tone of closed organ pipe, if you remember, right? Yes, sir. Yes. Uh, so, in general, the frequency of nth of tone can be written as frequency of nth overtone can be written as f n plus on that will be how much 2n plus on into vy for i am taking that symbol here lc lc means length of closed organ pipe 
ओके सो एन एथ ओवर टोन का जो फ्रीक्वेंसी होते हैं वो कितना होते हैं टू एन प्लस ऑन भी वाई फोर एल यू कैन चेक फॉर फास्ट ओवर टोन एन विल बी हाउ मच For fast overtone, n will be one plus one. So you will basically get three v l v y four l c. That is exactly same what we have derived. And you can check for other overtone also by taking different different mode of oscillation. So third ah uh, third overtone के लिए कितना हो जाएगा आपका बताओ ये जो frequency for third overtone how much it will be uh, will be that frequency seven by four seven by four exactly. So third for third overtone. what i can write here i can write f4 right for third overtone you will get basically f4 and that will be 7 into vy 4 lc so this is all about your closed organ pipe now what about your open organ pipe आप लोग बताओ हम लोग डिस्कस किए थे ना बताओ फोर्थ हार्मोनिक्स का प्लस वन वी बाई ट्वेल्व एन प्लस वन वी बाई ट्वेल्व ओके गुड तो एन प्लस वन होते है या एन होता है जैसे आपका सेकेंड हार्मोनिक्स का फ्रीक्वेंसी कितना होता है फर्स्ट हार्मोनिक का कितना होता है वी बाई ट्वेल्व सेकेंड हार्मोनिक का टू इंटू वी बाई ट्वेल्व राइट थर्ड का थ्री इंट थ्री इंटू वी वाई ट्वेल्व फोर्थ का फोर इंटू वी वाई ट्वेल्व राइट एन एथ का कितना हो जाएगा एन इंटू वी वाई ट्वेल्व हम आई करेक्ट हम आई करेक्ट अंजू एम आई करेक्ट मैंने पिछले क्लास में वो ही लिखा है एन प्लस वन इंटू वी बाई ट्वेल्व ओके ओके सो से आई थिंक यू प्लीज करेक्ट इट देखो हाँ देखो फर्स्ट हार्मोनिक्स का कितना फ्रीक्वेंसी था आपका वी बाई ट्वेल्व फंडामेंटल बैंड और फर्स्ट हार्मोनिक्स उसके लिए कितना था आपके पास वी बाई ट्वेल्व जैसे आपने फर्स्ट ओवरटोन ले ली फर्स्ट ओवरटोन मतलब सेकंड हार्मोनिक्स सेकंड हार्मोनिक्स के लिए कितना आया था आपका टू इंटू वी बाई ट्वेल्व अगर सेकेंड ओवरटोन थर्ड हार्मोनिक्स लोगे तो फिर उसके लिए कितना मिलेगा आपको थ्री इंटू वी बाई ट्वेल्व तो जितना हार्मोनिक्स है उस उतना नंबर मल्टीप्लाई होगा तो यहाँ पे कौन सा हारमोनिक्स था आपका फोर्थ हार्मोनिक्स राइट फोर्थ हार्मोनिक्स इसका जो फ्रीक्वेंसी हो जाएगा कितना हो जाएगा हम बेसिकली कौन सा लेंगे फोर्थ हार्मोनिक्स मतलब एफ फोर राइट तो दैट विल बी फोर इंटू वी वाई सॉरी फोर इन फोर्थ इंटू वी वाई टू यहाँ पे मैं सिंबल यूज करूंगा एल ओ एल ओ मतलब ओपन ऑर्गन पाइप आप रेजोनेंस का मतलब क्या है बताओ वट इज द मीनिंग ऑफ रेजोनेंस एनी ऑन सेम फ्रीक्वेंसी ये सो दिस फ्रीक्वेंसी दिस फ्रीक्वेंसी विल बी सेम सो वट आई कैन राइट फ्रॉम हेयर सेवन वी वाई फोर एल सी दैट शुड बी इक्वस टू फोर इन टू वी वाई Two L O, okay. So from here, if you calculate, if you calculate that L C by L O, if you calculate this ratio L C by L O, then how much you will get? Basically, this will be cancelled. You will get two, and of course, you will get seven by eight. So we can mention ah. Uh, in your copy that for open organ pipe nth overtone matlab n plus on harmonics and for closed organ pipe nth overtone matlab 2n plus on harmonics okay is it yes, clear what i'm trying uh, what I'm okay okay now we'll solve a few interesting problem and that will be really helpful for your jam exam so if you have done i can erase aapne likh liya okay
Okay, so let us solve few problem together. Okay, so suppose the equation of pulse is given. Pulse मतलब pulse भी एक wave होता है, है ना? So equation of pulse is given f of x t that is a into exponential 2a 2a b x t minus b square a square x square minus b square t square okay and of course there is a divide a divide by c square so this is the equation of pulse that is given okay so this pulse is actually traveling along x axis what you have to calculate you have to calculate the velocity of this pulse velocity of this pulse so you have to calculate this velocity how will calculate this anyone coefficient of t upon coefficient of x exactly very good so we have to write that equation in different way you know because uh, very difficult to judge from here itself that how, what will be the uh, coefficient of t because you have t square here also you have x square also right and you have xt also so this equation further i am right i can write so let us solve together so what I can write this equation f of x t equals to a into exponential. I can write this equation. You see, uh, a square x square. If I take minus common, I can write like a square x square minus two a b x t plus b square t square divided by c square right i can write like this right is it okay just nothing i have done i have taken minus common and i have rearranged it now you can see uh, this is a a minus b ka whole square ka formula hai if you take ax as a a then a square minus 2ab plus b square if you take bt as a b so i can write this equation further a into minus ax minus bt by c ka whole square okay now is it clear nothing i have done just i have uh, used this a minus b ka whole square ka formula so i can write ax minus bt ka whole square and you have c square so if you take c inside bracket it will be looking like ax minus bt by c ka whole square Okay, now you know wave velocity. So wave velocity or velocity of pulse, velocity of pulse. So I can write V. That will be how much coefficient of what T, right? Coefficient of T divided by coefficient of coefficient of x right so what i can write that velocity of this pulse coefficient of t kitna hai bhai what, what will be that coefficient of t here minus b by c minus b not minus b just you have to take coefficient mm -hmm. for o have no need to take any minus plus just you have to take coefficient. So the coefficient of t is nothing but a b by c. And of course, they will not confuse you uh, by taking plus minus. Okay. Aisa nahi hai ki aapko ek option minus mein given raega, ek plus mein given raega. Aisa nahi hoga. So just you have to take coefficient. So if, it, if you take this coefficient, so it will be 
coefficient of t will be v by c and of course coefficient of x will be a by c so this c will be cancelled you will basically get v by a so this will be the velocity of your pulse which direction this pulse is going actually hmm? x direction x direction mein to hai positive and negative positive x exactly so this pulse is actually traveling along positive x direction you know how uh, you can calculate because i already uh, said how to check whether it is traveling along positive x direction or negative x direction just you have to set x minus bt equals to 0 and you have to see or you have to look with progressive time what will happen to x agar x badhta rahega time ke sath obviously your pulse is traveling along positive x direction right and you can see here x minus bt equals to 0 if you said this is equals to 0 you will get x will be bt by a and with increasing time you will get increasing value of x it means your pulse is actually traveling along positive x direction okay is it clear to all yes, sir okay now next problem is uh, really interesting please be focused Okay. So you have basically two string. So if you remember, I have give the, given that example that wave on string is example of stationary wave. Not only that, wave on uh, sound sound wave inside your organ pipe that is also stationary wave because this wave is no longer traveling in space that is confined in some region and there is no uh, propagation of energy also so now i'll do one beautiful problem from standing wave in inside that string or wave on string so let us solve this question together okay and this will be real interesting so suppose you have two string of course this kind of problem we have done but not exactly same so problem is you have two string okay its radius is given that is 3r okay and let us assume this is string number a its length is given that is l Okay, tension is given, tension is, uh, excuse me, tension is T is given. You have another string of same material. You have another string of same material. Its length is given, that is 3L. Okay, and its radius is given, that is R. Tension is T. So you can see both wire is having same tension. Their length for wire A or for string A, length is L, radius is 3R. For B string, that length is 3L, radius is R. Both having same tension and they are made up of same material. Okay. They are made up of same material. This ka matlab kya hai? Same material ka bana hua hai. Matlab iska density jo hai, wo same hoga. Thik hai. Ab kya bola hai? Ki both string are in fundamental mode of oscillation. Both string are in fundamental mode of oscillation. In ka jo fundamental fre uh, frequency hai, fundamental frequency of oscillation that is new on in ka jo fundamental frequency of oscillation that is new to so aapko calculate kya karni hai new on by new to ye aapko calculate karni hai kya question samajh mein hai aap logo ko nahi aaya hoga did you get what this question is actually if you if you ask me i can क्या क्वेश्चन समझ में आप लोगों को यस सर आ गया सबको 
Anju, yes, Anjishor, Dhruvi. Yes, sir. Okay. Yes, sir. Okay. Then how we'll do this? So you see, uh, both string is in fundamental frequency. Is का मतलब क्या है? Hmm. It's harmonic. Okay. So you have to basically you have to calculate that fundamental frequency of oscillation of your uh, string. So OEB can uh, like your organ organ pipe if you remember for organ pipe we have many a uh, possible oscillation right. So similar to this string can have many mode of oscillation. अब सबसे ज़्यादा fundamental जो oscillation का ये होता है string के लिए कौन सा होता है? Suppose this is your string and both side is fixed. So इनका जो fundamental जो mode of oscillation होता है कौन सा होता है? ये वाला जो है आपका इसका फंडामेंटल मोड ऑफ ऑसिलेशन होता है ये आपका स्ट्रिंग का फंडामेंटल मोड ऑफ ऑसिलेशन है सो वी कैन सी दिस पॉइंट इज एन दिस पॉइंट इज एन एंड दिस पॉइंट इज एन एंड दैट लेंथ ऑफ दिस स्ट्रिंग इज एल सो व्हाट आई कैन राइट दिस लेंथ विल बी हाउ मच लामडा बाय 2 इक्वल्स टू एल सो लामडा इज बेसिकली हाउ मच 2l if the length of this string is l if the length of this string is l then lambda will be how much 2l is it clear what i am saying so string can have many mode of oscillation this is your fundamental mode you can write many other mode also like second mode will be what second mode mode kaisa hota hai iska second mode will look like this ठीक है तो आपका एन होता है ये आपका एन है आपका एन है अगर स्ट्रिंग का लेंथ एल है तो इनके इस केस में क्या हो जाएगा लामडा इक्वल्स टू एल हो जाएगा सो दिस इज फंडामेंटल मोड ऑफ ऑसोलेशन दिस इज योर फर्स्ट ओवर टोन एंड सो वन तो आपका लामडा तो मिल गया है ना अगर आपका स्ट्रिंग का लेंथ एल है तो लामडा फॉर फंडामेंटल फ्रीक्वेंसी और फंडामेंटल ऑसोलेशन के लिए लामडा कितना है टूएल्व है Now can you tell me what will be the frequency new one new one कितना हो जाएगा बताओ ए न्यू ऑन सो फ्रीक्वेंसी इज नथिंग बट वेलोसिटी डिवाइड बाई लैमडा न्यू इक्वस टू वी वाई लैमडा राइट एम आई करेक्ट न्यू इक्वस टू हाउ मच लैमडा वी बाई ट हाँ सो फ्रीक्वेंसी इज नथिंग बट वी वाई लामडा ओके सो लामडा के जगह पे क्या लिख सकते हैं स्ट्रिंग के लिए लामडा के जगह पे मैं लिख सकता हूँ टूएल्व लिख सकता हूँ oh, अच्छा भी इफ यू रिमेम्बर दैट वेलोसिटी ऑफ साउंड इन साइड वेलोसिटी ऑफ वेब इन ए स्ट्रिंग किसके ऊपर डिपेंड करता है टेंशन डिवाइड बाई मी वन राइट डू रिमेम्बर That velocity of wave in a string, it depends upon root of what t by mu, where t is the tension, mu is the mass per unit length. So this is all about your new one. Similarly, I can write new two. New two will be how much now? New two will be how much? Anyone? कितना होगा new two? So I can write. Now this will be you see. One upon L. No, you see if that length is L, then lambda is how much? Two L. Now this length is how much? This length is three L. So of course lambda will be how much now? In place of L, you have to use three L. So lambda will become that wavelength corresponding to that fundamental frequency. That will be six L because this length is no longer L here. It will be three L. So in place of L, you have to substitute three L. So it will become. 6l and this tension is same so i can I, i can use t and this will become mu2 now if you calculate new one by new2 how much it will be now so if you calculate it then how much you will get basically uh 3 into mu2 by mu1 
ठीक है ना अगर डिवाइड करोगे सपोज इफ यू टेक दिस इज योर इक्वेशन नंबर वन एंड दिस इज योर इक्वेशन नंबर टू ओके इफ यू डिवाइड इक्वेशन नंबर वन बाई टू सो न्यू वन बाई न्यू टू इट विल बिकम हाउ मच कितना हो जाएगा ये ठीक ठीक लिखा हूं ना मैं यस सर ओके नाउ यू हैव टू कैल योर जॉब इज टू कैलकुलेट म्यू टू एंड म्यू ऑन सो म्यू म्यू टू कितना हो जाएगा बताओ अच्छा इसका मास कितना हो जाएगा अगर मास पता चल जाएगा तो हम इसका म्यू म्यू निकाल सकते हैं तो एम ऑन कैन कैन बी वॉट रो इन टू पाई ये तो आपका सिलिंड्रिकल है तो इसका वॉल्यूम कितना होता है सो मास इज नथिंग बट डेंसिटी इनटू वॉल्यूम सो आई हैव यूज दिस डेंसिटी दैट इज रो इट वॉल्यूम विल बी हाउ मच पाई थ्री आर स्क्वायर एल इट का मतलब क्या है थ्री आर स्क्वायर मतलब नाइन पाई आर स्क्वायर एल सो दिस विल बी द मास ऑफ दिस स्ट्रिंग सो म्यू ऑन विल बी हाउ मच म्यू ऑन कितना हो जाएगा एम ऑन बाई इसका लेंथ एंड दैट विल बी रो इन टू नाइन पाई आर स्क्वायर सो आई गॉट दिस म्यू ऑन नाउ आई टू कैलकुलेट दैट एम टू सो एम टू कितना हो जाएगा बताओ दोनों का डेंसिटी सेम है सो आई कैन यूज रो अगेन and its length uh, its volume will be how much now 3 pi r square l right because pi r square l but l yahan pe kitna hai 3 l hai so pi r square 3 l so i can write 3 pi r square l so mu2 will be how much now mu2 will be m2 its mass divided by its length length kitna hai iska 3 l hai तो बेसिकली कितना हो जाएगा एम टू बाई थ्री एल यहाँ इसको अगर थ्री एल से डिवाइड करोगे ऑफकोर्स यूल गेट रो इन टू पाई आर स्क्वायर हमें करेक्ट इज इट ओके क्या ये सही है प्लीज रेस्पॉन्ड मी इज इट ओके यस सर अंजू ध्रुवी शेखर कैंसिल्ड स्क्वायर रूट ऑफ नाइन मीन्स कितना है थ्री है सो बेसिकली थ्री बाई थ्री तो दिस विल बी ऑन इज टू ऑन सो न्यू ऑन इज टू न्यू टू दैट विल बी ऑन इज टू ऑन ओके आर यू एंजॉइंग क्लास एवरी पीपल सर क्लास स्लो हो रहा है या फास्ट हो रहा है बताओ जैसे आप बोलो ठीक ठीक हो रहा है सबको सब लोग बताओ ठीक चल रहा है ठीक चल रहा है चलो ठीक ओके सेल वी गो फॉर नेक्स्ट प्रॉब्लम ओके चल रेज यस सर शायद आप लोगों का एक आध दिन में टेस्ट हो जाएगा एक है ना तो आप लोग प्रिपेयर हो जाओ ओके सर ओके सो नेक्स्ट प्रॉब्लम ओके नेक्स्ट प्रॉब्लम इज आल्सो इंटरेस्टिंग सो सपोज द वेलोसिटी ऑफ साउंड वेलोसिटी ऑफ साउंड इन एयर इज प्रोपोर्शनल टू अल्फा इन टू टी बट टी इज द टेम्परेचर ऑफ दैट एयर and alpha is some constant so velocity of sound 
in air depends upon temperature if the temperature of this air is t so v will be alpha t alpha is some constant okay now that sound wave is traveling from two point from point a to point b okay from point a to point b and temperature at point t point a is given as t1 temperature at point b is given as t2 okay and point a is corresponds to x equals to 0 point b corresponds to x equals to l okay also it is given that the temperature varies between point a and b there is a linear variation of temperature between point a and b so you have to calculate the time taken by sound wave to travel from point a to b again i am repeating this question this question is really interesting so velocity of sound inside air equals to alpha t where t is the temperature of this air alpha is some constant having appropriate dimension sound is traveling from point a to b temperature at point a is t1 at point b is to t2 point a corresponds to x equals to 0 point b corresponds to x equals to l and there is a linear variation of, of temperature between point a and b so, matlab, temperature linearly vary over you have to calculate the time taken by the sound wave to propagate from point A to B. Is this question clear? Yes, sir. Okay. How will proceed then? So, can I write, since there is a linear variation of temperature between A and B, so I can write this temperature parameter like T equals to k into sorry k plus some beta into x because uh, there is a linear variation of temperature between point a and b so i can write this temperature t as k plus beta into x why because if you increase it that x of course temperature will increase with linear variation and i have to use some some initial constant value because when x equals to zero the temperature is no longer zero there is some value constant values that's why i have to take this constant also so this equation itself representing that there is a linear variation of temperature with x jaise jaise x badhate jaoge aapka temperature us hisab se linearly badhta jayega and why i have taken this k because at x equals to zero if you substitute x equals to zero you will get some some values of uh, temperature that is non zero and that is nothing but t1 actually so i can represent this temperature in this region like t equals to some constant plus beta beta is again some constant into x so this equation representing that linear variation of temperature is it clear that concept so this uh, this thing not given in that question what they have given in sentence they have given that there, there is a linear variation of temperature between these two points and you have to calculate time taken by this uh, sound wave to travel from point a to point b is it clear yes, sir okay how will calculate yes, this kaise calculate karoge so can i write like this at at point a t is how much now at point a t is t1 and you know at point a x equals to how much zero right so this equation from this equation from this equation itself i can say t1 equals to k agar is equation mein x equals to zero substitute karoge aur t ke jagah pe t1 rakhoge to k kitna a jayega T1 आ जाएगा अब आपका इक्वेशन मॉडिफाई होकर क्या हो गया T इक्वल्स टू T1 प्लस बीटा इनटू एक्स ठीक है ना 
अब सेम थिंग अगर पॉइंट बी लोगे एट पॉइंट बी एट बी टी इज हाउ मच टी इज टी टू राइट एंड एक्स इज हाउ मच एक्स इज एल सो दिस फ्रॉम दिस इक्वेशन आई कैन राइट टी टू इक्वस टू टी वन प्लस बीटा इन प्लेस ऑफ एक्स आई टू सी यूज एल सो फ्रॉम हेयर आई गेट दैट वैल्यू ऑफ बीटा so beta will be how much t2 minus t1 by l so this is all about your beta and we have uh, we got that value of t also so it means what i can write t is nothing but so t kya ho jayega aapka k ka value aa gaya t1 beta ka value aa gaya T two minus T one by L. So I can write this T as T one plus T one plus T two minus T one by L into X. So this is your this is your T. So I can represent that. Temperature of this medium from point A to B, I can represent like this: T equals to T one plus T two minus T one by this is your L into X. Now, if you remember, velocity how much was it? Velocity was V equals to alpha into T, and velocity is nothing but dx by dt. Okay, this will be this should be equals to alpha in place of t i will use t1 plus t2 minus t1 divided by l into x now if i rearrange this equation i can i'll get dx by t1 plus t2 minus t1 by L into x that should be equals to alpha dt. ठीक है. अब जब when time t goes to zero, your wave is at point A. So initially wave at point A, it is going to be. So when t goes to zero, that X will be how much? X will be at zero. Now, when time t goes to t, your OAB is at where? At point B. So X will be now L. Now we have to calculate this integration. We have to calculate this integration. So what will be this integration now? What will be this integration? Anyone in the class? कितना हो जाएगा ये? So let us uh, write that right hand side first. पहले लिखते हैं. So alpha dt का integration कितना हो जाएगा आपका? Alpha into t. What about this integration? So if you write, you see. Log x sir. Exactly. So it will be log x. So I can use natural log of. T one plus T two minus T one by L into x, and you will have this limit zero to L. Now, in this, some multiplication will happen, because this is no longer x. Dx by x, you have log x used, right? But this is no longer x, so you have you have to multiply by something. So basically integration में क्या करना होता है आपको divide करना पड़ता है नहीं तो आपको कैसे divide करना पड़ेगा on by t2 minus t1 by l right because you are using dx by x that is log x but this is no longer x so you have to differentiate this function denominator में इसका differentiation करना पड़ता है तो इसका differentiation करोगे क्या मिलेगा T1 का जीरो मिलेगा इसका कितना मिलेगा T2 टू माइनस टी वन 
So that's why you will get this factor T2 minus T1 by L in denominator you will get. Okay. So it means L by T2 minus T1. Achha, L, a limit, if you substitute this limit, then what will happen? So if you substitute this L here in place of X, if you substitute L, then this L will be cancelled and you will get T1 plus T2 minus T1. That is nothing but T2, right? If you substitute this upper limit in place of X, if you substitute L, this L will be gone. You will get T1 plus T2 minus T1. T1 will be cancelled. You will get T2 minus of. If you substitute in place of X, if you substitute 0, this factor will be 0. You will get L and T1. So minus of L and T1. So it means time taken by this sound wave to travel from A to B, this time T will be L by alpha into T2 minus T1. Then you will have Ln T2 by T1 because Ln A minus Ln B, that is nothing but Ln A by B. So this much time is required to travel by wave from point A to B. Is it clear? Is this concept clear? Yes, sir. Samaj mein ye pura aplo ko? Yes, sir. Isko samaj mein nahi aayi? Everybody got this question? Everyone? Karthik? Rajkumar? Saswat? Yashika, Sekhar, Anju. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Okay, good. Shall I erase? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. condom No, sir. No, sir. No, sir. Group velocity, phase velocity, ho gaya? No, sir. Group velocity, phase velocity, may be. Ocha. Chalo. Okay, next problem is also interesting. Answer a very simple question. I think you people can able to solve this question. So, you have wave equation. The wave equation of transverse wave that is given. Y equals to y naught sin of 2 pi f t minus x by lambda. Okay. Here, what is said for this transverse wave? The maximum, the maximum particle velocity, the maximum particle velocity will be four times wave velocity okay for this transverse wave maximum particle velocity will be four times wave velocity if consa condition satisfy ho to ye possible hai ab condition given hai if lambda equals to pi b if lambda lambda equals to pi y naught by 2 okay if lambda equals to 0 if lambda equals to 2 pi, why not? Okay, so you have transverse wave equation. The maximum particle velocity will be four times wave velocity if which condition is satisfied. Consa condition ke liye possible hai ki particle velocity four times wave velocity. Ho. How will do this? Achha, so maximum particle velocity kitna ho jayega, batao. How much will be the maximum particle velocity here? Anyone? So how will calculate that particle velocity? BP. BP is nothing but dy by dt, right? 
dy by dt. So if you do this, you will get two pi f y naught cosine of two pi f t minus x by lambda. Okay. So maximum value of particle velocity can be possible when this function is maximum. And this function maximum is value kitna hota hai? on hota hai, right? So you'll get maximum particle velocity. Let us take that notation that is VPM. That will be 2 pi f y naught. Okay. Now let us calculate wave velocity. Wave velocity kitna ho jayega? Anyone? So V will be how much coefficient of T? So coefficient of T kitna hai yaha pe? F. F. Ha, you can take F. Or you can take 2 pi F also. But it doesn't meaning because 2 pi will be uh, the coefficient of D as well as X. So no need to take here 2 pi. Okay, so I can take like F by on by lambda, right? Because coefficient of x is on by lambda here. So this wave velocity is nothing but f into lambda. Okay. Now according to that given condition, kya given hai? VPM, that should be four times wave velocity. That is V. So VPM is nothing but two pi f, and you have y naught also that should be equals to how much f lambda sorry four times f lambda right so it means f will be cancelled here and you have four so lambda will be how much two pi y naught by four so it will be pi y naught by two so correct option is जब आपका लामडा का वैल्यू पाई ऑयनेट बाय टू होंगे, तब ये पॉसिबल है कि पार्टिकल का मैक्सिमम वेलोसिटी विल बी फोर टाइम्स वही वेलोसिटी। इज इट क्लियर? एवरीवन? यस सर। यस सर। ओके। नाउ विल डिस्कस लिटिल बिट अबाउट ग्रुप वेलोसिटी एंड फेज वेलोसिटी। of course, this is a part of quantum mechanics. Atul sir will teach you very nicely, but I'll do my part. Okay. Okay, sir. And you can say you will get on question from this. Uh, group velocity and phase velocity from this topic itself. This topic is really simple. From mathematics point of view, this is a very simple topic. Uh, just mathematics is there, but in our part is uh, really difficult to visualize. So Atul sir will teach you very nicely. I'll just introduce this part to cover my topic. So first we'll discuss So basically phase velocity. Okay. So if you, uh, so suppose you have a, in a region, you have a wave. So a single wave will never exist. In any region, you will get many number of wave and they will basically superimpose. Okay, many wave they will superimpose and they will basically make wave packet. Okay, so when you will uh, think about a single wave, so phase velocity is basically what phase velocity is nothing but the velocity of a single wave, and that has no practical application or no significance because single wave will never exist. You will have many number of wave. They will basically superimpose and they will produce a wave packet. So in practical life, you have to deal with wave packet and the velocity of wave packet is nothing but 
the group velocity. So basically, if you have single, if you think about your single wave, suppose you have a single wave, y equals to a sine of omega t minus kx. So this representing a single wave, and this wave is propagating along x axis with frequency omega, angular frequency omega, amplitude small a. So the velocity of single wave, that is phase velocity, and phase velocity is denoted by Vp. And that will be basically how much coefficient of t divided by coefficient of k. Sorry, coefficient of x. So this is your expression of phase velocity. But this uh, has no practical significance because single wave never exists. You will have many number of waves, they will superimpose. Suppose you have a wave that is y1, y2, y3, and so on. Okay. So y net basically will represent the net displacement and that basically will represent you wave packet. Okay. So the velocity of wave packet actually is the group velocity and group velocity ke liye jo expression hota hai, VP, sorry, VG. VG is representing that group velocity. That is nothing but d omega y dk. Okay. Now from here I'll get omega. Omega will be how much? Vp into k. So I can write d in place of omega, I can use. What I can use? Vp into k. Okay. So you got Vg equals to d by dk Vp into k. It means Vg will be how much? So if you differentiate, there are two terms. So first I will differentiate with respect to K, I'll differentiate this K. So I have to use VP as a constant. So D by DK into K, that will be one. And second times what I'll do, I'll bring K outside and I'll differentiate VP. So D VP by DK. Okay. Now you know that wave vector K is how much? 2 pi by lambda that we know. It means dk is how much? Minus 2 pi by lambda square d lambda. So in place of k, I'll use 2 pi by lambda. And in place of dk, I'll use minus 2 pi by lambda square d lambda. So if I use, I'll basically get vg equals to vp minus if you use in place of k, if I use 2 pi by lambda, then how much it will be? 2 pi by lambda, then you have d vp by d k k jaga pe kya use karunga me? Minus 2 pi by lambda square d lambda. So this 2 pi will be cancelled. Also on lambda will be cancelled. What you will basically get? You will get vg will be vp minus lambda d, d vp by d lambda. So this is on interesting and important relation between group velocity and phase velocity. So group velocity can be written as phase velocity minus lambda d, d vp by d lambda. Okay. Can you, did you get? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Okay, now there will be case. So we'll discuss one by one. So one minute, sir. Acha, apne likha nahi. One minute, sir. Okay, sir, let clear. Okay. Okay, now you have suppose. So what do you observe? That Vg is Vp minus lambda d Vp by d lambda. Okay. Now, 
case one case one if the medium is if the medium is if the medium is non dispersive if the medium is non dispersive in that case in that case the dvp by d lambda that is zero now for non dispersive case this factor will be zero so of course you will get vg group velocity equals to phase velocity so for non dispersive medium you will get group velocity equals to phase velocity okay for example so suppose you have this relation omega equals to ck omega equals to ck so in that relation if you calculate that vp vp is nothing but omega by k so if you divide by k this equation you will get c so phase velocity equals to c further if you calculate vg vg will be how much d omega by dk so if you differentiate this uh, this equation with respect to k you will get basically c so you can clearly see for this case you will get vg equals to vp so this omega equals to ck this is the dispersion relation of propagation of electromagnetic wave in free space so propagation of electromagnetic wave in free space is like a a uh, non dispersive case for this case the group velocity will be same as phase velocity okay so propagation of electromagnetic wave in free space for this case that medium will be non dispersive and in that case group velocity will be phase velocity equals to phase velocity okay now second case shall i raise yes sir yes sir now second case second case suppose you have case two suppose you have dispersive medium okay so it means in dispersive medium this dvp by d lambda that is no longer going to be zero so in case two you will have further two case one is normal dispersive medium medium in normal dispersive medium basically d vp by d lambda that is some positive number in normal dispersive case the d vp by d lambda equals to positive now if you remember vg was how much vp minus d lambda d vp by d lambda theek hai na if you got this number is some positive if you got dvp by d lambda that is some positive so your vg will be vp with my, some minus values okay it means for normal dispersive case you can see that vp will be greater than vg you can see here vg will be vp minus lambda dvp by d lambda so for normal dispersive this will be positive number so vg will be vp minus some positive number it means that vg will be smaller than vp so i can say for this case vg will be smaller than vp and case number 2 for anomalous dispersive medium medium for anomalous case this dvp by d lambda 
that will be some negative value. Now, if this number is ne negative, you already have negative sign here. So basically you will get VG equals to VP plus some number. It means for anomalous dispersive medium, the group velocity will be higher than phase velocity. So for this case, what will get group velocity will be greater than phase velocity. Okay. So there are a few problems, of course, we have to do because regular uh, this uh, one question used to ask on regular basis from this topic itself. So we'll few, do a few problem tomorrow and then we'll proceed further. Okay, sir. So if you have any question, you can ask me, otherwise you can stop here. Good night, sir. Okay, good night. Thank you, sir. Good night, sir. Good night. Thank you, sir. All right.